Hey there, it's Tori and thanks for tuning in to my holistic wellness channel, Satori Shifts. Today I'm joined by my lovely brother Cameron who will be helping me demonstrate an easy yoga warm-up routine aimed at people with autism and special needs. Cameron was diagnosed with non-verbal autism in 2002 and it's been my family and I's mission ever since to make his life as smooth and enjoyable as possible. If you enjoy this video, please let me know in the comments and feel free to subscribe to my channel for future videos on yoga and other aspects of wellness. We're going to start with our legs crossed and taking a few big breaths in and out to center ourselves. Now we're going to begin by coming onto all fours in a neutral position with the back straight. It's important that you demonstrate how to do the postures and try to avoid too much explanation as this can become easily confusing or frustrating. So prompting to come onto their knees, hands flat on the floor, back straight and looking down is a great way to start off this practice. Now we'll move into cow pose, waking up the spine and upper body. It's helpful to guide with your hand across the parts of the body that need to be engaged so they can feel where to move. So with this one, we direct the torso downwards so the front side of the body begins to open and stretch. You can ask, bring your chest down and look up. Lift the, lifting the chin up and encouraging to look towards the sky will also help access this pose. Cameron's getting a bit ahead of the game here, so had to <laughs> re-prompt him there, but that's totally fine. Now, curling the tailbone under and arching the back to the sky. You can also encourage them to pull the navel in by lightly touching their stomach to make the round in the back. In yoga, we usually hold poses for counts of eight, Depending how patient they are, of course, see how long you can manage at the time. Don't forget to keep encouraged breathing in and out throughout the practice. Now, coming back onto all fours and moving down into child's pose. This is great for stretching out the back and the body for reducing stress. So by sitting back on the heels and stretching your arms out in front as far as you can, this is also really soothing and relieving for the brain and for reducing anxiety, which is something that many people with autism suffer. This is actually a really great pose to come to during the practice if they are starting to get a bit stressed or they're needing a little bit of a break. Child's pose is a really lovely reset for stress as mentioned. Now coming back up, we're gonna stand and do a few poses on our feet. Beginning with warrior one. As you can see, Cameron decided to start picking the skin off his toes here, <laughs> which of course is absolutely fine. No rush. Let's just be patient with this. So we're going to start with the right leg going forward. Back foot turned at a 45 degree angle, trying to encourage bending that knee a little bit. Arms overhead as straight as possible if you can. It doesn't matter if they don't do the pose fully, especially if it's the first time doing yoga, just as it would be the same for everyone. The point is, is to get the idea and this will be very beneficial no matter what they do. If they want to take a break to continue picking the skin off their toes, that's totally fine as well. We've got all the time in the world here. So with that right leg, Again, coming forward, legs bending forward, arms up straight above head. Mm -hmm. 
Don't forget to praise with every pose as well for their reassurance and confidence building. This is a lot more challenging for them than for, for most of us just to do the regular poses. So it's very important that we keep telling them that they're doing a really, really great job all the way through the practice. Now we'll move into warrior two. Bring that right knee forward and then with the back foot, we're going to turn that back foot to 90 degrees so that it is parallel with the front of the mat. This will create more strength and tone in the legs. Now straighten that front leg and keep the arms up. We're going to move into triangle pose. Reaching forward with that front hand down towards the ankle. Cameron is very flexible, so he can quite easily reach for his ankle, but if you are a bit tighter, reach just as far as possible, whether that be the shin or the knee. Then with the other arm, reach up to the sky and spread the fingers apart. And slowly come up and bring the feet back together, arms down, and we'll get ready for the second side. And a little bit more toe picking, because why not, right? Now bring that left leg forward and bend into that left leg, back foot turned at a 45 degree angle, arms up overhead, trying to make sure those hips are facing forward. Now moving into warrior two, almost, bear with. Cameron got the, the wrong way around there. So uh, we'll get that left foot back forward again, reaching the arms out, bending that left and into that left knee Arms up so they're parallel to the floor again there. And bringing that back leg back out a little bit as well to really create a strength and stretch in both legs. It might help to count out loud as well so they know how long to hold the pose for without getting too distracted or annoyed. Now moving into triangle pose, straightening that front leg and reaching down to the ankle, arm up to the sky and that top hand stretched out as well. Again, just reaching as far as your body allows to reach, whether that be the ankle, the shin or the knee. Now, we've done 10 poses, and if this is one of their first times doing yoga, it's a good idea to keep the practice short so they can get used to it. It's the same as it would be for anyone. So we'll move back down to the floor to end our practice. Let's try one last pose before finishing, a seated forward fold. Just telling Cameron again there that he's doing a really, really great job. So we're gonna reach up with our arms up to the sky 
and fold forward. You can prompt them to touch their toes. Keeping a bend in the leg as Cameron's done there is totally fine as well. If you're not flexible enough to bring your legs to the floor, I was trying to encourage him a bit there. As he is quite flexible, he can straighten his legs actually quite a lot there. This is one of my favorite yoga asanas as it helps calm the brain, improve digestion and soothe anxiety. It's a wonderful stretch for the spine, the shoulders and the hamstrings. As they practice more and more, their hamstrings will begin to loosen and you'll gradually be able to straighten the legs even more. Now we'll come up. Relieving for a moment from that deep stretch before finally moving into everybody's favorite yoga pose shavasana or corpse pose just lie down simply flat on your back on the floor arms by your side feet turned out and close your eyes stay and relax in this pose for as long as it feels comfortable or as long as they can manage to stay still we usually do about a minute Now, beginning to wake up the body, let's begin to wiggle our fingers and toes. Stretch out long, arms overhead. Reach, reach, reach with your toes as much as you can. Waking up the whole body. Then bring the knees into the chest and give yourself a big, big hug. Well done. What a great, great practice. We've done a really, really great yoga session today. Then turn off to the right into fetal pose. Still holding onto those legs. Then push to come up to sit. Crossing our legs again. Now we'll bring our palms together to touch in front of our heart. And take a deep breath in and out, just to seal off our practice. And then if they're up for it, we can chant for one round of um. Breathing in and um. Bring our arms up overhead, touch our palms together in prayer, and down to chest. Namaste. Namaste. Fold forward. And that's us finish. Well done. You have done such a great job today. Thank you for practicing yoga today with me, everyone. I really hope this was useful and beneficial. Let me know in the comments what you think.